Welcome back to another video. Um, in today's video, we have insane OT ending LeBron strive for greatness versus NH Lightning. Nike EYBL Peach Jam. That's a very long title to a video. But LeBron's has a LeBron has an AU team called Strive for Greatness, and they they're playing in the Nike EYBL Peach Jam, which is like one of the biggest AU tournaments I believe all year. And what's really interesting about it is now they're playing on ESPN and like the NBA Network. Like that's crazy. Like AAU is now on. I believe they had like some stream where you could watch it live. You know, you could watch it on your TV. You could watch it on the app. Like, it was, like, stream live on the NBA app, which is insane. So, it's, like, that platform that's now been given to high school players is very – I mean, it's, it's like, there's so much exposure you can get from playing AAU. It's, it's a good route to go. It's, like, AAU is different from high school basketball. I feel like you can get more exposure playing AAU than you can actual high school basketball. So it's like I would like to talk about, like to ask them when to make an argument. Can you make? Can you get a scholarship just playing AAU alone and not high school basketball? So if you just play AAU for a great team and just do that instead of actually playing for your high school, like does your chances of getting gaining a scholarship go up? So let's see what LeBron James team is talking about though. I know his son is on his on this on his team as well. So let's let's dive into this. They're down 47 to 54. LeBron James' team is the dark, are the dark jerseys. That's a good, I don't know, it's a good make, it's a good hit. I don't know if it's a good shot, but he made it. If you got the guts to take the shot and you make it, you always gonna get, be praised for it. Ooh. Drive, let's go. Imagine LeBron James being your AAU coach. <laughs> oh my goodness, that'd be so dope. Like, LeBron is your AAU coach? That's crazy. Ooh. Like LeBron James. Like, what team you play for? Strive for greatness? Like, LeBron's our coach. What? It's 56-56. Oh, that's tough. It's a lot of people there as well. Uh. Oh. Well, let's see what. So this ref called on the floor. I think. Are we talking continuation? Give him that. That's an and one. Look at LeBron. People LeBron in the in the green short. <laughs> in the green. He's all the way over there by the referee, by the bench. He's in green shorts. Watch him jump up and down. Oh my goodness. On the floor, he's salty. They get to shoot the free throws. He he can he has a chance to tie the game. Oh. Oh dang it, glitch. That's clutch. That's super clutch. Oh, that's good defense. Dang, that's tough. Get that. It's stuck. It's people up top. Man, imagine LeBron really being your coach. Ooh. Ooh. The lefty. Hey, that finish was tough. Oh, my gosh. Mm -mm. <laughs> it was so smooth. That's, that's training right there. 
dangerous situation. I, that that kid has a trainer. One, two. Out of control. What? This shot should not have gone in. He went. He's he's drifting left, and he shot it with his right hand. Like what? Off the glass. No way. Oh, this is crazy. Is there a shot clock in Peach Jam? There is. They're not. Oh. That's big. Oh, what? Look at Bryce. Bryce is my favorite out of LeBron's children. That's a weird way to lose or win. They won. What a game. New Heights Lightning. Look at LeBron. Forced a lot of turnovers. What happened, John? LeBron. They strive for greatness. Go small. They defend. They start switching everything. And they started finishing possessions. <laughs> That's wild. Imagine LeBron James being your AAU coach. So, like, what? That experience is, you can't really beat it. Those kids most likely learn so much. They pretty much get anything they want basketball wise I would imagine like that's a big opportunity to have LeBron James as your coach in high school man that's different but if I was if I could go back I didn't play AU I probably would have done that because it seems fun one and two the exposure you get playing AU is just different it's a lot more like it's a lot more exposure. If you aren't necessarily a top player in your high, at your high school and you play AU, you, you could potentially, you know, I guess make a bigger name for yourself playing AAU that you necessarily wouldn't be able to do playing just high school basketball. Because a lot of high school basketball players are under the radar. They aren't really known. And they could be good, but if you play AAU, it gives you more of a shot to, because you travel more, you go to national tournaments, you're, it's just like you're talking to more people. You're always interacting with people. You get to meet new people. Like AAU is, a, it's a big deal and it's nationwide and it's not just state driven. So man, definitely something to think about. Even though you gotta be careful because you can burn yourself out if you are playing AAU. You can burn yourself out early. And, but, I, but, it, but basketball is really, I mean, you want to get it while you're young. You want to really go after it while you're young. So you want to do everything you can to reach your highest potential at a younger, I would say at a younger age. So if you are playing AAU, yes, you're going to be more, you're going to be, your career will probably end quicker if you're not taking care of your body, but you could capitalize off of it because you can get to where you want to get to quicker because that's what it's used for, you know. But people for in the NBA get drafted at 19, 20, I like guess a young, it's really a young person's like game if you want to like reach a higher potential. I guess if you want to make it to the NBA, it's kind of a younger person's game. If you're trying to get drafted, if you want to go to a Division One college, you want to do those things while you're young. But you know, yeah, that's my spiel. But thank you guys for watching. I'm going to catch you next time.